how do we do that? And there's a very simple simple idea. And this is usually done via via a shift register. Shift register. And so there are just bits shifted shifted through here and then at the end of this shifting operation we have um, some kind of logic operation and then this creates a feedback process here and this um, depending on the size of the, of the shift register, register and the preloading of that with that um, we are generating a pseudo random number generator here Pseudo, pseudo number number generator because it repeats after many many steps. So the so the features of this is the A. Um, it has a start always the same start value. Always the same the same sequence. And B is a period. The period is is usually very long. Can easily go into the millions or billions or even higher. Period is very long, but um, the output is still random. So this means that the cross correlation between samples is probably very very low. So. So it's still random, and so therefore, so therefore, if we are taking this output of of this um, shift register here, and um, and so we so we use our our XOR gate here, so that's our our XOR, and so we send our our data in here, then these outputs here so the data data out then um, is a is essentially a random random sequence with our data in there this is then um, randomized here 